Hello and welcome back to Integration Redesigned. I'm your host, Kate Port, and it is wonderful to have DigiBee's Head of Education and AI on the podcast today. Welcome back, Fabricio. Hi, Kate. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Uh, today, we're going to talk about AI related to integration, and you've been doing a lot of work related to integration. DigiB has launched and will be launching some amazing new features related to AI. To start off, talk about the process that you co- you use and the team uses in coming up with innovative ideas around AI. Okay, perfect. So it, when we think about product innovation, right, it's uh, fundamentally to identify and cover uh, pains and unmet needs, and there's a lot of opportunities there, right? But when we see some technology emerging, we have some other opportunities for a more technology-driven approach. So what we are doing right now is to reassessing the existing problems that we already identified uh, from customers and um, figuring out how can we uh, address new solutions for for these uh, problems with deep learning, machine learning techniques, AI, right? So this can provide an uh, opportunity for, you know, by reshaping this uh, these existing problems with a, completely new things and how can we come up with different solutions and rethinking the, the, the features that we already have planned. So uh, imagine what, uh, what could, could not possibly possibly be done before smartphones. And just because we have smartphones, all the products and innovation that were, were created, just addressing existing pains, but with a different solution because we have a new tech in place. So basically this is what we are doing right now is what can we do differently with AI um, addressing an existing pain, existing unmet needs from our customers. I think it's really important when you think about the advent of technology to help enable others. And one of the things that we often talk about is how AI is transformative here at DigiBee. Specifically on this podcast and of course in the news, we've launched new functionality around documentation for a variety of integration flows, making it easier to communicate what a process is doing and how and why. Uh, talk a little bit about what AI means at DigiB. You know, when you think about integration and in AI, what gets you excited or looking forward to the future? Right. So I, I think that AI, it's a part of the natural evolution of DigiB. When, when we see why why DGB and we see all the things that we can solve in reducing the friction from the developers in building integrations because alternatively they have a lot of hard work on coding and because we have a low code platform and we make that easier the next step when we see AI assisted uh, a product it's a natural evolution so um So AI is definitely part of the future of DGB when we see that we can add more capabilities and making the life easier of the developers, right? So um, some examples that you you, you mentioned and things that we are planning, for example, okay, integrations are messy and complex. So how can we provide clarity so the developers can have better decisions related to integration. So this is one of the reasons that we provide an AI assistant so the users can retrieve information about how to use the product, but also how can retrieve information about the integration so they can better understand what the integration is, what's happening in the, in the integration. So we want to avoid that AI can be a, like a black box. They need to audit. They need to understand what is happening. So this is why we use AI in that favor, not to to make that complex even more. 
And finally, of course, when we see this fusion in making the, the life easier of the developers, uh, how can we assist them in designing and building integration? So with smart recommendations, uh, with opt optimizations, but even uh, always in the sense that we provide suggestions, but the developers that have the final call related to, to what what should be done in 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 a specific integration context, right? Of course, there has to be human interaction. You touched upon the developer and the importance of aligning AI with developer, making it AI assistant. We know AI can be, will be transformative. Where do you see AI going? in the development community over the next six to 18 months? So um, interesting because we, we have seen a lot of good stuff being uh, developed in the code generation, right? So um, the providers are doing a great job on that, but the develop development community uh, is realizing that, okay, I can speed up my coding process, but reviewing and debugging is still painful, mainly when this came from AI. So I think that this is a great opportunity for the providers, right? And, and I mean, co-pilots, code whisperers, and AI code generation to focus on how um, from now on, AI can be less painful in reviewing the booking phase. So AI can generate code, but do not provide this drawback for the users to, okay, I need to check what AI did. So, okay, I still need to check, but how can I easily check that? You know, so I think that this is this is going to be the, the next thing, right? How can um, AI generated code can be easily revealed and debugged by the user? I think it really speaks to adding AI as a co-pilot or a partner in that process, as opposed to letting AI drive everything. And I'm, of course, very excited about where we're going. Um, when I think about AI, of course, I think about it in the business sense, but I also think about it in the personal sense. One thing I use AI for recently was generating a grocery store list and a meal plan for the week. Uh, if you could do one thing, with AI, what would it be? So, uh, Kate, definitely I would create a, a digital twin of myself. So imagine um, an AI version of myself equipped with all my skills, knowledge, and even my jokes. So I can delegate, you know, uh, some tasks for this uh, digital twin and even though free up time. So how can I delegate to myself and free up, free up time at the same time? So for me, this is amazing. Uh, putting the joke aside, uh, actually, this is what AI is doing, right? Climbing the cognitive ladder, but actually step by step and, and task by task. We, we already can delegate tasks, right? But we are still delegating under adult supervision. But sooner, when we have something called uh, AGI, right, artificial general intelligence, and this uh, arises, probably this product of digital twin of ourselves can be can be possible, right? But we are still um, see, uh, already uh, seeing things coming in that way, right? AI is. Still early days. We of course want to make sure that uh, you know we're we're policing what's going on, right? Being a little careful about how we're using it, but always fun to dream. Fabricio, thank you so much for joining today. Thank you, thank you, Kate. Thank you all for joining. This has been another episode of Integration Redesign. We'll talk to you next time.